Yeah, well, yeah, boy, welcome to Watch Me Build It. We're busy building the MB78. Yeah, I like it from Namoki. We've got the whole watch assembled, we've got the bezel insert on, and all we need to do is install the strap. Step number 11, watch me install a bracelet. This is a female end leg bracelet and it looks amazing. It's a little more intricate to install, so I would encourage you be patient. Make sure you've got time in hand. I know we're close to the end, but don't rush for the finish line. Just pace yourself. Before we start building, a few reminders. This is part of a series of videos. Be sure to watch the intro video and the ones that came before this and the ones that come after. Be sure to click on the link below to go and buy your own MB78 kit and use the affiliate link to the Namoki store to get to their store and then use this code here to enjoy an exclusive discount on this kit. You can only enjoy this discount using the Watch Me Build It code. Finally, don't forget to click like and subscribe. But more than anything, let's do this step. Cheers. We're using the watch on the movement cushion, strap, spring bar tool, tweezers and tape, as well as a pair of scissors. I'm gonna turn the watch face down onto the movement cushion and then apply some protective tape to the back of the lugs this is to prevent us from scratching the back of the lugs with the spring bar tool or the spring bar or the strap. Make sure the edge of the tape is on the edge of the lug so that it doesn't get jammed into the end pin. We're using the V-tongue portion of the spring bar tool to remove the lugs that are installed. Be patient with this process so that you don't scratch anything unnecessarily. Right, now we're turning the watch dial side up because I want to confirm that the portion of the bracelet, which has the upper part of the buckle, that is going to go in at the 12 o'clock set of lugs. Now that I've got the correct part of the bracelet with the correct lug, I'll lower it into place. Remember with the female end link that that last portion of the link is actually held in place by the spring bar, so it's a little bit to manage. We get the lower bit of the spring bar in by hand and then we use the tool to squeeze the upper part in and uh, that seems to have found its place easily enough. We turn it round to do the second part of the bracelet. Same sort of principle, the lower part in first then we squeeze the upper part into place. Mm, has that seated well hasn't it? Just going to try wiggle it in so that it gets purchase. And then give it a good test to see that it is in fact in. And unfortunately it isn't. So I'm going to give it a go again. You need to give it a rigorous test. Because if it seems to have taken and you put the watch on. It can come loose later on. And if your watch falls to the ground. You could shatter a crystal. You could break a movement. You don't want that to happen. Right here we go. Second installation. I'm going to use the tool just to coach that spring bar into place now let's check give it a good test yes everything is in place remove the tape and now we have a complete watch on the bracelet mm -hmm. 